Today we're doing alloderm grafting on 14, 12, and 11. Three years ago we um, did an evaluation and she had some thin tissue here. Um, she has thin tissue everywhere. And we ended up doing some grafting on the lower anterior because that was the worst area and we were just kind of watching these sites. And actually in the last three years this site has gotten a little worse the upper right has gotten a little worse. However, the lower anterior has been real stable after we did the grafting. And you can see how thin her tissue was, and you can also see the, um, the thickness of the alloderm underneath. And what that's done, even though we didn't get uh, much root coverage, it's helped to keep her um, from getting more recession. the round for it all. It's, it's her lower back. I was trying to get something. This, let's see if that'll work. But for her back or just underneath her legs? Let's see if it'll go under. Hold on. Go ahead.
Okay, we'll take a look at this in a couple weeks. So this is the two-week healing of the alloderm grafting we did on the upper left here. And you can see the sutures are holding, so we're going to leave those sutures in for a couple weeks. Um, I'm not going to put the pack back on, and she can just use some chlorhexidine. I'm going to have her use a two-row brush and just go from the soft tissue onto the teeth. She'll be able to floss there and look at this in a couple weeks. This is a one month post op of the grafting on the upper left. And things are looking really good here. We just took the sutures out. The proline sutures stay super clean. And um, we're going to take a look at this in a couple months. This is the four and a half month healing of the alloderm grafting and coronal positioning in the 11, 12, and 14 areas. 11 had 4 millimeters recession, 12 had 3, and uh, 14 had 5 millimeters. Still have a little recession there, but we have thicker tissue, and we got a fair amount of the roots covered.